He was uh, a rather good raconteur by all accounts, but we rarely get the chance to hear his voice. What did Willie actually sound like? Well, we've come across an old recording in our London archive, dates from November 1950, and in this sequence, Willie recalls his early life in the Glen of Strathfarrer in Rothshire. There were papers among my forebears on both sides of the family for quite a few generations back. I began to learn the playing of the pipes at the age of seven, but it was learning of a different kind to the usual way of learning nowadays. My father and mother were my teachers, and they believed that the best way of getting acquainted with the music was to sing it before you tried to play it. So the post viol or mouth music, was an important part of my training. If you can't learn to play the pipes without books, you might as well not learn at all. That was my father's motto. Well, I practiced hard, and many hours learning I put in on these long winter nights at the fireside. And still, it did not seem tedious at all. People said I had the gift for it, a gift handed down through generations of his people, as Neil Monroe says, to the making of a piper goes seven years of his own learning and seven generations before. In 1896, at the age of 17, I took to soldiering and joined the Scots Guards as a piper. I was sent to London, which was a great change for a lad like me, because I'd never been further south than in Venice before, but for once, and that was only as far as Blair Arthur. But I didn't see very much of London for a while. Soldering was a harder life then than it is now. We didn't have very much free time, and our pay of a shilling a week didn't take us very far. Soon after that, I went to the South African War, but I was lucky enough to come through the whole campaign, and within the next few years, in 1903, I was made pipe major of the Scots Guards. In the Great War, I was abroad again in France, but from then till now, most of my time has been spent in helping to make pipers and training army pipe majors and others in Edinburgh Castle. Pipers are a great fraternity, and you'd never convince them that any other kind of music can compare with the grandeur of the Pibroch. Uh, Willie Ross in 1950. Well, here's a track from his regimental pipe band, modern music in this case from an old establishment.